Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be match numbers and letters of the alphabet. So numbers and letters. Using the hyphen to match a range of characters is not limited to letters. It is also it also works to match a range of numbers. For example, 0 through 5 matches any number between 0 and 5, including 0 and 5. Also, it is possible to combine a range of letters and numbers in a single character set. So here we've got Jenny 8675309 is set to the string of Jenny. Uh, the regex is going A through Z and then 0 through 9. Um, it matches all letters and numbers in Jenny string. So all letters and numbers in here. It does it, it matches all of them because it's a global flag and then it matches um, it's case insensitive because it's lowercase a to lowercase z. It's case insensitive with the I. So Jenny string dot match my regex. Uh, create a single regex that matches a range of letters between H and S. So we want to change our thing here. We want to be H to S and range of numbers between 2 and 6. Remember to include the appropriate flags in the regex. It should have a match of 17 items, right? And so if we console.log the result, well, right now we're just getting an empty array, or empty object. Why is that? So result is equal to my regex. So we're just making the result equal to the regex, which is not useful, right? We want to go dot match no no my regex will be passed in to the match function and we're calling it on the quote sample it's quote sample dot match my regex h through s two through six and so right now we're only getting the l so that's actually the first letter right it's the first element it goes to b b is not within h and s it goes to l l is between H and S, so it's rendering that first one. But what's wrong here? Well, the we're only getting one element, right? So we want to make it global, so we go across the whole thing. And then we get all of those elements. And then um, there's another issue here. Actually, in this example, it's probably the right answer. But what we want to do is, it also is saying uh, to include appropriate flags in the regex. It should be, this one says your regex should use the case insensitive flag. So up here we want to add the case insensitive flag and that gives us a different uh, array. Now if we go result dot uh, si uh, length, there's 17. So we've got 17, we're using the global flag and we're using the in case insensitive flag. So I feel pretty confident that we'll pass the test here. Cool, hope this helps you guys and uh, we'll see you in the next lesson.